tonight, Virginia Beach School Board members make a big decision that impacts thousands of students. Cell phones in school. Teachers have been complaining that it's just gotten out of control. News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer live for us in Virginia Beach. All right, Zach, you were at tonight's board meeting. What happened and how are families reacting? Well, Kurt, it was a long discussion, but ultimately school board members voted unanimously regarding this policy on cell phones. Now, for the past week, we've heard from students, teachers, families, all about what they make of this policy. And tonight, residents who spoke at the meeting right behind me here, the Virginia Beach School Board, said that they were split on the decision about phones in the classrooms. Madam Chair, we have unanimous vote. The motion did pass. Tuesday night, Virginia Beach School Board members took action on a policy regarding students and cell phones in schools. The move coming exactly two weeks before students are back in the classroom. The policy states student use of personal cell phones, personal communication devices, and accessories such as earbuds or personal wireless headphones are banned during instructional time and in instructional settings. It also says students may not have a personal communication device on or in use during instructional time or in a location that allows them to hear or see the activated device during instructional time. And these items must be stored in backpacks, bags or purses, teacher designated areas, lockers or in personal cars. Hopefully to bring some relief to our teachers um, on the problem of discipline. School board member Victoria Manning says there's been positive feedback so far in the policy. With discipline problems in our schools, we're hearing from our teachers that um, the cell phones are really a big part of that. Distraction is the enemy of education. Some folks speaking at Tuesday night's meeting were adamant that phones shouldn't be in classrooms. A teacher should not need to compete for a student's attention. This dilutes the educational process. I'm concerned about constant discipline distracting from content delivery penalizing students who are engaged whether or not they have cell phones. Meanwhile, others believe educators should teach students about using technology appropriately. Outright banning phones in the classroom does not teach them how to manage their technology as tools. Outright banning phones does not teach them how to manage their use of technology in formal settings. According to the regulation, students who violate the rule can face discipline ranging from a warning to out of school suspension. And Kurt, when it comes to communication during emergencies, the regulation states that all staff members have access to communication devices during instructional time and can reach the school office if situations were to come up. Now, during an actual school emergency, students who access stored personal communication devices to make calls for help will not be penalized. Live in Virginia Beach, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.